Hey everyone, so today's nail art is based on The Walking Dead and specifically this scene with zombie Sophia. This was personally my least favourite scene I've watched so far. It was just so gross and wrong. She's a little girl. Um, but if you have another least favourite or favourite scene, leave it in the comments down below because I'd like to hear what you think. Here's the nail art I came up with. As you can see, there's Sophia's face as well as lots of blood drops and the Walking Dead logo. So in this tutorial, I will teach you how to do this. Please subscribe to my channel to see heaps more nail art videos and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy it. Start off by applying a base coat to all your nails. I then painted my index finger, my ring finger and my pinky finger one shade of nude. This is to imitate the background colour of the balm which you can see in the previous photos. And then paint your middle finger and your thumb with a slightly darker nude colour. This is for the background of Sophia's face and for the background of the Walking Dead logo. Of course, this is being pretty fussy, so you can just paint them all the same colour. Next, we're going to paint on the Walking Dead logo onto the thumb. This is done in black polish. As you can see, I've done the W first and the G second. This helps make sure that the spacing is quite even, rather than having it all bunched up in one place. Then paint on the word dead underneath the first word, but this time make it a lot bigger. And then paint on the above the first word and make this one really small. Now go through and thicken it up where you think it needs it. An extra little tip is if you've made any mistakes, use the same colour polish you used in the background to go over the mistakes to hide them. And here's how mine ended up. While you're doing that, the polish on the other fingers should have dried completely. And so what we're going to do next is get a makeup sponge and rip a bit off like I've done here. And I'm going to dab it in some of the nude polish and make sure that the colours across my nails are blended in quite well. So the polish that is on the sponge is the same polish that is on my middle finger and my thumb. And I'm just dabbing it across the rest of my nails to give it some more texture and prevent the background from looking too flat. Okay, so Sophia's obviously going to take the longest because she's so complicated, but it's also really rewarding. So to start off with, we're going to frame her face with her hair. This is quite a good way to get her face shape right from the very beginning. Once you've outlined it, fill it all in with brown polish. You could use acrylic paint as well, I just am more familiar with um, nail polish as a medium. Now use a grey to define her jawline and make sure it kind of gradients down to the rest of her chest. Now paint on her top with dark blue polish. Next use a black or a dark brown to outline where her eyes are going to be. They don't need to look perfect by any means, remember she is a zombie and she's meant to look like she has been through the wars. Next use a dark red to paint on her mouth. And while you've got that red, add some blood down to her shoulder. Next I add some lighter brown around her eyes and use the same colour to make her nose. And now it's time to gross her up a bit by adding some blotchy, decaying skin using some of the nude polish mixed with some of this lighter brown polish. You might also want to add some red in there. Add some more zombie-ish detail to her lips too. Then just continue doing her face with the nude colour and the light brown until it's looking kind of how you want it. For her eyes, first fill them in with white polish. Then make a pink and add some of that to the bottom of them so they look a bit more bloodshot. 
You might want to blend it in with some more white. Again, while you've got to add some of this pink colour down to the blood on her chest. And add a bit to her lips and to her face. Then give her blue irises. And instead of a black pepper, we'll give her a gross, disgusting white one, which makes her look extremely dead and spaced out. I started getting really grossed out by this tutorial at this stage. The next part's probably easy to show, not tell, because I can't really explain every little bit. But it's just about defining her a bit more and making her pop and seem more realistic. Um, as you can see, I'm defining the lips. I'm going to add some more detail around the neck and sort of define her jawline. I'm going to blend better. And yeah, so I'll just fast forward this part so you can see what I'm doing. Now the picture I'm using as inspiration shows Sophia having quite large prominent bags around her eyes. Or maybe they're just really hollow cheekbones, I'm not really sure. Either way, I'm going to add them in now, so if they look a bit strange, that's why I'm just trying to stick to the picture a bit more. I'm also adding highlights across the whole face and I'll blend them in afterwards. Now I'm adding some more decaying marks to her chest and finishing her off with a little bit more blending. And here's the nail next to the inspiration. Now I'm using a light brown and a really thin brush to give the impression of the wooden boards being behind her. These are very basically done, they don't have to be perfect at all, it's just to give the impression and to kind of link the whole design together. Now use the larger side of dotted tool and make some dots on your nails with red polish. This is where the blood drips will go to. I chose to do this in quite a dark red polish. Then use a really thin brush to make some lines that join up to these dots. Add some red polish to the top of your cuticle and then connect the blood drips to it. You want to try and make it look as smooth and curvy as possible. No sharp edges. Then do the same to the other two nails. Clean up around your cuticles with a brush dipped in nail polish remover and apply a top coat. And we're done! I hope you liked this video. I actually felt so gross after doing it. I had to go sit outside for a while. Um, it, just, it was just very creepy. But if you like this Walking Dead nail art, I'm quite happy to do more because I really did enjoy doing it, beside from the nausea. Um, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you did like this video. And I will see you next time.